set the McKenna on fire. Go and tell them we're going to write a new history. Rise up, Spartans, rise up. We say no to Ponzi now, so stand up. You cannot defeat us, Yahoo, give up. Africa, but charge is here, so time's up. Rise up, Spartans, rise up. We say no to Ponzi now, so stand up. You cannot defeat us, Yahoo, give up. Africa, but charge is here, so time's up. Here come the Ponzi killers, victorious, we hold the title. With a fearless leader, name is just a Michael. Come and sing with me like it's a school recital. No more poverty, we come to break the cycle. Spiding low and sell the high speed, it's getting faster. No more scamming, no more crying down with Ponzi faster. Yes, we like the vegetables, but now we cook the pasta. Profit in pyjamas, got me dancing like the Rasta. I had to switch it up, picked them up and had to dump the scammers like a Tonka truck. Got up in this crypto game years ago to make the buck. Searching freedom, not the fame. Seek the knowledge, not the luck. Feeling stuck and giving up on life. I know just how it feels. Know that every arbitrage can buy you more than happy meals. Shiny wheels and faster cars, bigger homes and private jets. Think about the people you can help. That's how you live your best. Rise up, Spartans, rise up. We say no to Ponzi now, so stand up. You cannot defeat us, Yahoo, give up. Africa, but charge is here, so time's up. Rise up, Spartans, rise up. We say no to Ponzi now, so stand up. You cannot defeat us, Yahoo, give up. Africa, but charge is here, so time's up. The platform immense, call it. Yeah, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night, so depending on the location where you are joining us from right now. Uh, first and foremost, we want to quickly attend our, our on-reserve apology uh, because we're actually online and we're having some technical glitches and um, we have to quickly go offline to set the table straight because uh, there is no need being here when we have these glitches because our motive of being here is to celebrate with you Spartans to make sure you enjoy every bit of the way, to enjoy the sound output, to enjoy the video quality, everything that we've prepared for you tonight. We are here not just because of any other, but because of you, because without you, patterns, there is no interest. So right now, we are happy to be back again live and we are online. Come on, reach to every one of your friends, wherever they are, wherever location that you are joining us from, let them know that we are back online. You can follow us, you can watch this live streaming right here on the, the, our Facebook channel. You can also do so on our Twitter and as well on our YouTube channel. We are streaming on these three major channels. Please spread the news abroad. Let everyone, every member of your team know that we are gathered here. I can see the numbers popping up right on the screen. We are not going to start without you, Spartans, coming up here. We want to see above a thousand to two thousand people on this stream right now i can see the number increasing then it, that is when we'll be able to bring the ceo up on this very meeting yeah um i mean uh, latasha yes so, uh, I, I guess you can see the number of people that are popping up on this screen what do you have to say to this it's like people are really responding so much to this ama this very evening come on well, I, of course, I'm loving what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing all of the representation from near and far. So we definitely love seeing you guys in the place. We all get excited when we have these AMAs happening because we look to hear from our fierce leader and we love to just 
come together and have these moments together so that we can all stay on one accord. So I see us coming back in from all the various parts of the world. Of course, we got on Nigeria, we got Ghana. I even saw various states represented here in the United States where I am coming on in, bringing in those awoos. Let's get it going, everybody. Let's bring it on in. Come on back to the room. Reach out to your friends that are not here. Get one of them, pull them in. They don't want to miss today. We're celebrating our 90 days, so we got to get it going, guys. Let's come on back to the room. Come on back to the room. So, I'm thank smiling. you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Nilatasha. That's very lovely. Yeah, we really can't stay much more than this as we're just doing it right now. We have over 780 persons, and the number is booming up. Yeah, yeah, we've gotten this information that our audio is poor. Please, I believe this is network issue. Uh, we will be able to fix it as we uh, go on. And we believe before we finally start uh, AMA proper, we're going to see everything up and uh, running. Uh, yeah, please, um, I think, uh, is it the late here now? If you are hearing me, if you can please help us reach to admit Debbie. I've already sent her the new link. We are spreading her on board. She's not here. It's part of our program tonight. If it's possible, please, I will, I will be glad if you can help us do that on the background. I wish to um, admit Debbie, let her know that the new link is already on our Telegram. She just need to click there and join us and uh, we'll bring her to the stream table. Yeah, I think uh, right now uh, the CEO, uh, we're waiting for him to be part of us. Uh, he was here, I think uh, uh, he's trying to tidy up things. So uh, we are in for something good this very evening. We welcome you every Spartan that are here on this call. We appreciate you and we are very, very proud of you. We are here this evening to make sure that we all have a taste of what it takes to celebrate 90. Remember, it's not an easy road. It has not been an easy road for us to be here over this period of 90 days. So I will believe that um, together we're going to have a sweat time. We're going to celebrate together and we're going to have the opportunity to hear directly from the CEO some of the issues that we are, are, are not going through. And uh, we should be able to um, be able to carry on from here. So, Admiral Latasha, what do you have to say in this regard? Yeah, Latasha, yes. are you there? I am here. I am here. Come on. All right. So, we. We're waiting for our CEO still, right? So while we're waiting for our CEO and some of the other panelists to join, um, huh, Ambrose, where do we go from here? We got 90 days on deck. We got a lot of challenges behind us and a lot of promise ahead of us. So that being said, I know that everyone is excited to hear about where we are today, what direction we're moving in. And honestly, the celebration of our 90 days is the reason that we've come together today and to just give everyone an update as to where we are. So I see Debbie has joined in with us. So Debbie, of course, you're our cheerleader. I need your energy. Bring you it on. need my energy? Yes, I need your energy. Well, darling, you should have had it just a minute ago because I didn't know we were supposed to come over to this other room. I thought it was just, I thought it was everybody else. But let me tell you what happened. So I'm sitting over there in this other room talking to everybody over there. And, and we were just having ourselves a grand old time to y'all interrupted and expected me over here. But you yeah. know what? Um, I am just over the moon about everything. I am just so excited. Um, there aren't enough words that I could possibly give to even describe the way I feel today. I mean, this is, this is just, Whew, I'm just so proud of Jessam and what he's created. Way to go. Way to go, Jessam. You did great. And Maria, you know, every... It's Maria, cutting me off. It's cutting me off and I barely hear you guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, see you. Uh, okay, gentlemen and ladies, uh, I think it, we come to the high life of uh, this very evening AMA. Uh, we're just going to um, ask, uh, uh, present our CEO now to just um, uh, give us a little welcoming kind of uh, um, a speech to the entire Spartans, because everyone here have been waiting for you. So CEO, please uh, just uh, have to uh, speak to us and uh, we monitor things from the back end. Thank you very much, CEO. Over to you, sir. Thank you. 
and thanks to every one of you here. Good evening. Good morning. Afternoon. And good night in any part of the world you are. Uh, permit me to say it's a meeting of all meetings. And also permit me to say congratulations to every one of you in any location you are, in any part of the world you are. Permit me to say congratulations. And permit me to say that we are not just winning the battle, we are winning the war. With all of the global attack on daily basis, even as I speak. But I keep saying we came prepared. So I must tell you congratulations. And I must tell you thanks for coming online. Thanks for believing in my dreams. And thanks for giving me your shoulder to lean on. Remember, without you, there is no AAX. A year ago, I said it repeatedly that without you, there is no AAX. You are the strength of AAX. You are the beauty of AAX. You are the glory of AAX. And the glory must be returned to God, not to human. Not with a deep team working with me, not even me as a CEO. No, no mortal must take this glory. No mortal. Because the wisdom behind AAS, the security behind AAS, it is wisdom given by the Almighty. If not, two days ago, we have an unexpected attack, a global attack. But we are still standing up very strong. The more they attack, the more we advance in knowledge and wisdom to protect what we have. Same day, that was three, four days ago, same hour they were attacking same moon, same hour they were attacking us, same hour repeatedly. They were attacking same moon and they were attacking us. Unluckily for them, they hack into same moon. Billions of dollars are gone. But thank God for what we have. Thank God for security we have on ground. We are still standing strong. So thanks to every one of you. Kudos to you. Thanks for believing in me. Thanks for giving me your shoulders to lean on. And thank you for coming into AAX. One thing is certain. I'm under ethical oaths to protect that which you send to my hands. God bless every one of you. Inshallah, we will not disappoint. Thank you. Back to you, Ambrose. Thank you very much, CEO. Uh, that was really uh, a, a nice one. And uh, we are going to be going straight to what we have tonight without really having to take too much of our time. And I'm sure that the community are ready. And we've just seen the CEO present himself to us. And that is a sign that we are all ready to ride on this very show tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the AMA and the 90 day celebration with our CEO, Mr. Jason Michael, the visionary of AS, and with the, Spart with the entire Spartans all over the world. Right now, we are over 2,328 watching and is counting increasing by the second. And I wish we are going to get to 5,000. We're going to even go beyond that. And this is a very, very, very important call for us tonight. So we're going to be hitting the road right now because much time has been uh, has been spent already. Uh, uh, Admin Latasha is going to be coming up uh, all the way from the United States of America. Is a co-host and is a co-anchor and is going to be coming up with the first introductory question that we're going to post to our CEO. It's 90 days, you know, and a 90 days journey is not just an easy one. They say the journey of uh, of a thousand miles begin begin with normally a step. And right now we're going to know from our CEO and how this has been over the years. So, Admin Latasha, over to you from here. Thank you very thank much. You, thank, you, thank you so much. And we also want to give thanks to our CEO today because without his leadership and guidance throughout all of this, we would be a bit lost on this journey. Um, so we definitely want to give him his kudos as well. And we also want to give grace to the most high. That being said, We've all heard about the story 
that ignited the vision of our CEO, the journey that he took to get to where he is today. So CEO, if you could just share with our AAS family, just a little more detail about what ignited this vision for AAS. We know that AAS is touching lives all over the world, helping nations and just changing the world in general with this movement that we're upon. So CEO, can you just elaborate a little bit more for all of our Spartans here about what ignited that vision that we are now walking within for AAS? CEO? Yeah, um, thank you very much, Latasha. Yeah, CEO uh, seems to be having challenges with this network, I guess. Uh, CEO is already off this room. I think this is, uh, yeah, CEO is back. Yeah, um, I'm sure uh, we have him right here. I mean, the uh, we are going to win this war. It's a war we are winning, and we know we are 100% winning this war. So I want you to please recap your question again. I'm not sure CEO had you, so that he can as well uh, take off from here. Thank you very much, Latasha. Over to you. Come on. All right, see, all, right. You all of this wonderful love we were showing you over here. So, of course, we thank you so much for your time today. And we are so grateful for your leadership and bringing us all along this journey of AAS. Of course, without this vision that you developed many years ago and the, the journey that you took to get to where you are, we all are itching to know what exactly it ignited that vision that you are now rolling out to us for AAS. So can you just give us a bit more detail on what got us there? We know that AAS, as I said before, and some of the viewers have already heard me say that AAS is touching lives and changing the world as we know it. It's helping nations and even without them even being aware of it at this particular point. So CEO, can you just share with us what ignited the vision for AAS for you? Thank you. Thank you, Latasha. Thank you. And thanks to the admin team and uh, co-founders are here. The deep team working with me directly haven't sleepless last night. And to investors who are up there listening to me. Yeah, I, I am 18 years old. As a forest trader, I've been trading FX, that is forest trading. I've been into forest trading for 18 years now. And 11 years are holding crypto. My joining in the FX industry has been so smooth, but full of pains, regret, full of pains and regret, knowing too well what they told me before I, I went into FX or learning FX or learning more of the centralized system, pen me to use uh, the centralized system uh, for my illustration. What I was told is going to be a win-win game. That was what I was told. And I believe them. I believe the mentors and teachers whom help me in this joining. I believe them because they said it's going to be a win-win game. So when I came in, I discovered that the centralized system is full of fraud and lies. There, there was, there, there's never been sincerity in the centralized system. With my experience, disappointment, pains, finger bond, in the centralized system, I woke up, I called a few leaders around me, I told them, with what these guys are doing, we need to build a system. We need to look straight into the eyes of these guys and build a decentralized system that will not give human room to manipulate funds, to hold funds, or to control funds. Because these guys, are pure gangsters. They don't have the interest of the people at heart. All they do is just themselves for themselves, make the money, and off they go. What are the damn lines? Then I turn back as well in the multi-level marketing ecosystem, which is okay. I, I never for one day condemn the multi-level marketing ecosystem. No, I've done it before I was there. But the truth is that because of the finger bones, right, are coming from these guys who never say the truth, who never told us how the system works, who never told us what we need to do, who never opened our eyes to the terms and conditions that govern the profit making they told, told us. Now, if you work to 10, 5, 7 persons, I told them, I have a wonderful platform. Would you like to buy into it? 
what comes straight to them or, or the question coming straight to you is, do I need to refer? Do I need to talk to people? How many members am I to refer to make this money? That is a straight question to you. And once you tell them you are to refer to three persons, that is the end of the deal. Because every one of them are so tired of talking to people to make money. So I call a team of guys around me. I tell them, listen, we need to build a system that will 100% depend in capital. The capital in their hands, the capital they have, the capital they are holding, the capital to the platform. Let the capital work for them. The old, the young, and the middle age, everyone who has capital, not minding how little the capital will be. Let it be that the capital works for every one of them. So I call them, I tell them, this is what I am doing, this is what I am developing already, and these are the ideas I'm putting together. That was 218. Uh, 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 we, we just came out of the boom market, 217 to 218. I think we have a lot in our hands, right? Because the Bitcoin we bought as low as $45, $50, $70, $80, breaking that is a, a 2016, November, December, breaking 2017, Bitcoin was as low as $94, hitting $100, coming back. So what we bought as low as 50, 80, 90 dollars, 2017 December was 19,000 plus. So we have enough in our hands. So I, I was talking to this and I told them, I want to build a system, a trading system. With my experience in trading, I want to build a system that one will not depend on referral. You don't need to refer. You don't need to talk to anybody. You don't need to bring in even your neighbor. No, your sister, no, your mom, no. Your dad, no. Your capital in your hands should work for you. Some of them say it's not possible. How? Because we were all coming from the multi-level marketing ecosystem, knowing too well we need to take 10 to our left, 10 to our right, match here, match there. Without this, it's not forthcoming. The day you stop referring, that is the end of the deal. You, the upline, you stop earning the downlines, whatever even make up to their capital will start crying. So they say it's not possible. I told them it's possible. Wait. Now, I told them as well, hey, look at this, not just referring. Capital. If you have capital, let the capital work for you. Then I told them, I also, I, I am looking at a system that will be finger free, finger free. No, you don't need to tap any button. You don't need to press any button. You don't need to do anything. We will develop the system, backing it up with AI, which is artificial intelligence. Then I've not even add up the S, A, AI, then it was just normal AI. I told them these, these are the plans I have on ground. So I think few of them, Ben is in this call. Most of them uh, they may not really show up. They every all the chief team are in this call, they are here working with me. They are here. So I told them that uh this is what I want to do. I think few of them told me, okay, boss, let's see what we can do. We are with you. So we came up with this idea that the the centralized system has failed. Then coping with what happened within that period between me, Jess and Michael and Otter FX, right? I, I funded my account with $23,000 with Otter FX. I traded the same account from $23,000 to $264,000 in 33 days. And I placed a withdrawal of $100,000. Bam! They sent acknowledgement mail acknowledging the payment of that $100,000. They said in three hours, I think those of you were in the room here, that was four or five days ago, I dropped all of the screenshot between me, Otter FX, FX account officer, the mail they sent to me, acknowledgement mail of the $100,000 in three hours, the three hours turned to 13 hours, 13 hours to 23 hours, 23 hours to 43 hours. They keep coming up with lies upon lies upon lies. Give me the hundred thousand dollars withdrawal I made. This is money I traded with. I made a profit. It's in my account, and you deducted it from my account. Give me the hundred thousand dollars. It has been stories, stories, stories. I have no any other option than to drag. Presently, I am in court with other effects. I drag them wow. to court to claim my hundred thousand dollars. So, wow. guys, with all of these disappointment, with all of these finger bonds with all of these lies coming from the centralized system, I decide to say, okay, I am not the only one going through this. I need to build a system that would be 100% decentralized, no middleman, 
no thin green, no central authority, no one to manipulate. Let it run 100% in the blockchain. Having the liquidity pool lock, knowing too well, we are going to have a global attacks. They, they will definitely come into attack, knowing too well, hey, what is locked in the blockchain, you can't ju just go in and take a set. The owner opened the door, you can't just go in, it's not possible. So uh, uh, do, 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 those are those are do, those are forces that put me to the stage. I'm saying, okay, I want to build AAS, and here we are today. AAS wow. is a household name. Thank you, thank you, wow. Latasha. I, wow. I have a lot to say, but let me stop here. Let me stop here. Wow, wow. Thank you very much, CEO. Uh, I mean, we we'll just like you know, see you have a way of, uh, you know, is what someone who wants to really unleash everything out. But see you, we're going to beg, uh, crave your indulgence. We're going to give, you know, when you overfeed your children, they will not want to come for more. So you're going to be giving them little by little, little by little, okay. so that they will not be too overfed, so that we can always come to the table to feed. Thank you very much for that extensive elaboration on this very issue on what drive you to uh, the issue of creating the platform AAS, of which every one of us we are beneficiary today. I am a testimony and every other Spartans on this call. See, the follow-up question that we'll be looking at right now is that uh, amongst uh, these other things uh, that see, uh, that um, the uh, AAS represents, we know that a lot of things have been uh, done at the platform and um, more vision about the AAS is uh, yet to come. Uh, what are some of those things that we think uh, that you have gotten right? So far, so good. We know that you have a lot in, in mind for AAS. There are some things that are working perfectly now. There are some things that may not be, but that doesn't mean they have been abandoned. We want to just throw light on those things that, are, that you have gotten perfectly right on the AAS platform that are currently working for every one of us as, uh, as traders on the platform. See you. Over to you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Ambrose, and every one of you on this call. Um, I keep saying we've done 98% of the job, 98%. One to 98 is done. The system is okay. The system is working perfectly. The system is paying. Withdrawers are second to none. Just as I, I, I told every one of you a year ago that I am building a system that the speed will be second to none, that no crypto exchange in the world has ever experienced or noticed that speed, right? I said, I want my withdrawal speed to run in seconds, of which today, when you tap withdrawal in your AAS back office, is less than one second. The money is in your Coinbase, OKES, KuCoin, Trust Wallet, name them, just at a speed of less than a second is there. So uh, we've done all of this. We've gathered all of this. 98% of the job is done. Remaining two. Two. 98% is done. And today we'll be uh, elaborating a lot of things. Today we will, we will elaborate them to tell you uh, the issues you are seeing, the, the wrong timer you are seeing. Uh, why is my system not by I place a withdrawal? How come I'm, I'm not getting it? My timer is uh, uh, running more than 24 hours. We will be telling you why you are seeing this and why you keep seeing them and why we on our end are uh, uh, Bend or on our tools, rather, to make sure the security of AAS is being tied on daily basis so as to overcome these global attacks coming in. It's not every time we see these attacks, we're telling you just like two, 48 hours to 72 hours, we've been under global attack, serious global attack. So 98% of the job is done. Just the two percent, which is the, the internal transfer, and the internal transfer will be coming in. That will be June. We suspended it uh, till June. Why? Because we want to concentrate more on the compounding. So two components are, are remaining of the ninety-eight percent, which is the internal transfer and compounding. So these are the only two things that are left in the system, which we are working on it day and night. Thank you, CEO. Uh, that is uh, a, a quick one there. Uh, we're going to be going over to our admin, admin Debbie, uh, with a follow-up uh, question. I'm sure Debbie is right already and waiting to hit the screen. 
So, Admit Debbie, over to you. As the CEO is right here waiting for you to get up on board. Thank you. CEO, there's been a lot of things that, that we've seen going on, such as the ROI not, ROI not dropping, such as um, you've talked about the compounding and you've talked about the, the timer running the way that it is. Now, we see all these things from this side of the fence, but what we don't see are the things that you have been having to go through and, and the different challenges that you have. What are some of the challenges that you as a developer and the creator have come across that we don't know about that that would enlighten us to the point that we could understand more of why things are happening the way they are on our side. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Debbie. That is the oldest mama we have in the admin room. Uh, I, I call her my mother, my mother in the US. <laughs> and she's so lovely. Yeah, uh, Mama Debbie, let me answer this. Um, you see, until you come to the site of what we are going through. We are going through a lot on daily basis. Let's talk about compounding. You just asked about compounding. Compounding depends on the blockchain prediction. Listen, listen, listen. You see, some of you have been misled, you don't understand. Mostly those who would bench themselves in the centralized system who wake up and cook a kangaroo platform and tell you, hey, we are compounding. Uh, you never know, you never know. Till you become a developer running a system in the blockchain, then you realize that no human should deceive you, that the system is built today and compounding start today, <laughs> not in the blockchain. It has been my dreams because I call the poorest of the poor to invest as low as $20 in AAX, meaning a $20 to run for 12 months is over a hundred thousand dollars. That was my plan, meaning the poorest of the poor in AAX can have a high of a hundred thousand dollars in 12 months. That has been my plan, and that can only happen achieve through the force of compounding because to me compounding remain the seven financial wonders of the world so i i i, I make sure when i was building the system from day one from the scratch we added compounding component to it now one thing we need to understand is this you don't predict compounding you don't assume compounding you don't dream compounding you integrate listen you don't predict compounding you don't predict compounding you don't assume it you don't dream it in the spirit world and imagine it to work no you integrate it and to do this you need to obey the logic that has to do with the blockchain coding and the languages that are coming in if not you will have problem in your system for example so many of you in this room you've experienced compounding in your account is that true now why you were seeing that from our end on daily basis five times one two three four five with integrated compounding, and the system picked it up. Within 48 hours, this is what we have seen. Five different times, but after two to three days, the system will come up to call for a reset. Reset me back to the default setting. Listen. Reset me back to the default setting. And this is a message popping up from the blockchain to you as a developer. Hey, if you are a thinker, if you are smart and a good thinker, that means the system is crying for you hey, to adjust and pull off. You need to pull off. If you don't pull off, you are going definitely to have problems. Now, the system is coming up to say, please reset me back to default setting. That means the capacity of the liquidity pool is not sufficient enough for the system to run with listing. 
You see, when we talk about compounding profit paying out to members, it's accumulated profit generated by the blockchain in a pool. In a pool. The system pick from the capital, run to the market, buy, sell, convert back as USDT to the system. Hey, back to the capital, here for return on investment, and here for segments of compounding payment. Now, if this pool of the seven of compounding payment is not enough and you are using the system to take up compounding, these are the default messages you keep seeing. Reset me back to default setting. And once you see this, those of you who have witnessed, hey, I'm seeing compounding, I've seen compounding. Yes, you are not lying. You are not saying anything that is against what is happening from our end because on daily basis, the war to make sure we integrate compounding into the system is ongoing. Now, five good times, we set it up, then launch it to the system, to the blockchain, it will run one day, two days, three days. Those of you are saying, hey, you woke up in the morning, your $2,000, your $1,000, your $300, hey, it's been compounded back to the system. It's because we are working from our end. We are having sleepless nights to make sure that what we promised you from day one happened. So now, but when the system come up to call you, hey, Jeff, um, you set me back to default setting, take me back to default setting, meaning, is not yet time. Listen, never you be deceived. The worst I will do is to lie to you. I call you to come up to trade in the system I build because I want you to have your financial freedom. Because I want you to stand tall above your pearls. Because I want you to stop crying. I want you to wipe off tears. I want a little in your hands so that your capital has been doubled in these 90 days. We have already 100 days plus, remember? Those of us who came in from beta testing, we are already 100 days old today. So we are celebrating two things. We are celebrating 100 days trading in AAF and 90 days trading. 90 days we went live globally. 100 days, those of us who started in the beta testing, we are already 100 days Old. Listen to these guys. It has been my dream to make sure compounding work. But when you see the system popping up with erotic message telling you, take me back to default setting, that means a liquidity pool is not enough to take up that business. So, guys, I want you to be very patient with me. If there is one thing I want every one of you to do for me, is this. One thing I want every one of you to do for me is this. Give me your listening ear. Trust my judgment. Believe in what I do. I will not let you down. Believe in what I do. Trust my judgment. I will not let you down. These are the issues we are having in the system for compounding. We are ready to go. We are done. The software working on it. A system to integrate. Everything is ready. But blockchain popping up with the same message, reset me back to default. That means the liquidity pool, the fund, let me use the language, the fund is not enough to push for daily payment, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. Once it's already, remember, we are not giving up, right? We only take a pause. Those of you who are in the system today, you notice that uh, you wake up this morning, uh, the little in your account, the system has compound, right? Meaning we are still working. So never you be deceived for anyone to tell you, hey, AAF is not going to integrate compounding. AAF is not. No, AAS is fully ready for compounding. But we don't want to disappoint you because the liquidity pool that the, the pool that the system is to pick and pay to you, the blockchain decides, the blockchain has a right, knows better, does a calculation. If it's not enough, it will never pick up. If it's enough, we are working, it will pick it up and compounding will start immediately. Mama Debbie, thank you. Thanks for your question. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ambrose and Latasha. Yeah, see you. Thank you very much uh, for that quick response to uh, that uh, question. Uh, we have to go a little bit uh, faster now. Uh, the next question will be, see you. Um, we know that um, the issue of uh, compounding you just talked about as one of some of the challenges, which we believe that uh, these are challenges that can be overcome. 
Uh, we want to also know, CEO, how bright is the future of AAS? What are those things that we still need to expect? So how bright is the future of AAS? You know, the things we still need to expect that will come in addition to what you have already uh, put on ground. Thank you very much. Over to you, CEO. Ambrose, how bright is the future of AAX? <laughs> um, okay, i listed up, guys. 10 years from now is our starting point. 10 years. If you check our domain, we bought a seven years domain, not six months, not two months, not one year, not two years, not three years, not five years, seven years. And we are topping up three years by June to make it 10 good years, a domain of 10 years. Presently, the domain of AAS is to run for seven good years. We paid for that already. Why do we do this? Because we know we have a long way to go. And we have a long way, way, way to go. We have a lot to deliver. So we are not just in to hit and run. And those of you who are uh, somehow still giving your ears to naysayers, hey, he's going to run away. How? <laughs> listen, listen up, guys. You see, when I say you, the investors in AAS platform, are the glory, the beauty, and the strength of AAX, I'm not missing words. Listen up. You see, your capital has played a major role in the industry. And today, AAX has over 200 different payout wallets. And each of the wallets has fund, enough funds on it. Over 200 wallets. Over 200 wallets. The wallet that pay Ambrose is different from the wallet that pay Latasha, different from the wallet that pay Lucky, different from the wallet that pay an African queen, different from the wallet that paid to me, we have over 200 wallets. And each of these wallets has enough fund, enough fund to pay to members. Now, when I hear one wake up to say, hey, Jessica Michael is going to run away with the money. What is in the liquidity pool is mind blowing. How? Listen up. When you come to AAS or you came to AAS with a $1,000, just as your thousand dollar had been doubled, that means that same a thousand dollar has made a hundred thousand times for AAX. The system we build run in this way. If the system sees an opportunity, the system will take up your very capital. Throw the market, buy, sell, return back again. For example, if Bitcoin won our candlestick, trade for 30 seconds or 30 minutes rather, and the system sees that opportunity of 30 minutes, the HFT which we build with the robotic system to run in between the two cycles to make this profit will run over 500 trades in 30 minutes. We'll run over 500 trades. Now, imagine your $1,000, the system taking 35, 40% of your $1,000 to run over 500 trades in 30 minutes. How much do you think that system is making for AAX? And why will AAS wake up and run with your pill notes? Sorry to use that language. Sorry, please. I don't mean to insult anybody here. You are members I respect. I have respect for every, every of the investors here. But permit me to use that language, pill notes. Why will we wake up to run away with the pill notes? When we have book, this is over 200 wallets holding the funds for AAX. Check any time you place your withdrawal, take the wallet that's the wallet that paid to you, take that wallet to transcan, scan it, and check how much is in that wallet. Then and think when a naysayer, a YouTuber who has never built an e commerce before, a website before, never built a system in the blockchain before, is telling you, hey, they are suspecting this system is going to crash. Crash how? 
Sorry to tell you, hackers have tried all of their best to hack into the system, which is the only way to drop us or the only way to bring us down, but it's not working. So it's not possible. We are in for business. We are in to trade up more than 10 years because it's in 10 years. We will say this is the beginning. We, we have one of the most sophisticated security that is second to none. The system we build run in millisecond. The system we build, the cybers switch off half ever once attack comes in. Switch off as head. Just as I was saying, for the past 72 hours, we have a major global attacks. But you don't know. The wrong timer you are seeing is as a result of attacks because we set the wrong timer as a default to us to send signals to us that they are here. We were going in, we will break more of that, we will enlighten you. So, as per what do we have, uh, how bright is the future? The future is very bright because we have one of the most sophisticated security on ground, we have one of the most fastest system trading, we have one of the most fastest system paying, we have one of the most fastest system in deposit, and as well, we have one of the most fastest growing community in the arbitrage system, in the arbitrage, plat ar 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 arbitrage ecosystem. So guys, the future is bright, we have a lot to do, we are still looking at version 2.0, which is already on the pipeline. We are looking at the stable coin because we want our stable coin. We want to use our stable coin just like USDT. So AAS stable coin is on the pipeline. Our blockchain is on the pipeline. Our liquidity pool is on the pipeline because we are paying a lot to Binance. Within the space of three months, AAS has paid over $72 million to Binance. $72 million this is what we paid already to Binance because we are running with, we have our liquidity pool under Binance. You don't do that for free. You can't run that for free. And there are some things I see also would like to touch into, which are a lot of naysayers are trying to confuse the members here. There is a liquidity pool, token liquidity pool, and a uh, 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 liquidity pool with time will touch that. But for now, let me stop here, Ambrose, please. Back to you because of time. I have a lot to say, but please let me stop here. Let me stop here. Thank you. Thanks to every one of you. Thank you very much, CEO. Uh, we are very much aware of um, uh, most of those things that you have just highlighted. And we are very happy that the future is bright because in every project one gets himself fixed into, it's not just the present, but it's more of the future. That means uh, the sustainability of AAS is second to none. And we are glad that we are we sign up into uh, a business platform that will take us a long time. So thank you very much, CEO. So we're still going to be coming back to uh, admit Debbie uh, because um, uh, the issue about uh, around the compounding you've just uh, touched that. So we're going to be looking into the issue that have to do with our failed uh, deposit. So admit Debbie is going to be uh, uh, taking that on. So back to you again, admit Debbie. Thank you very much. See, so, yeah, we get a lot of people in our DMs and they're talking about the failed deposits and, and some of it is the is the issue of, of user error and, and not getting the deposit over in a timely manner because we have that we do have that timer. But now there are instances where the deposits have failed and is it no it, it wasn't a user error. So what could be the possible cause and what is the solution for that? Okay. Uh oh. Sorry, Debbie. Let me pick up here. Okay, Debbie, can you hear me from there? I can. Okay. Thank you. Fail deposit. Fail deposit. Fail deposit. Yeah, it has been the consign. Of every pattern 
to know why failed deposits i i am trying to deposit in and i'm having failed deposits i i am having a pending issue here hey binance has authorized a payment successful from their end uh, what happened i can see the deposit from my end i'm seeing failed deposits yeah listening to these guys you see, failed deposit is a regular day-to-day -day operation experience of every financial institution that use cyber assets. Take it again. Take it again. Failed deposit is a regular day-to-day -day operation experience of every financial institution that use cyber assets. If you walk to a bank, you walk straight to the customer service. You hear members sitting up there doing making complaints. I didn't see my fund. I transfer money to a friend. They debited me. They can't see the fund. They send money to me. This is their lot. I can't see the fund. And they debited my friend. Right now, on daily basis, for the fact that this financial system run in the cyber. Iran in the cyber is possible to see that. Now, when these things come in or any time network is running in error or there are issues in the network or they are uh, 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 pro probably those of you, maybe you go to your, your back end to your Binance, you want to do uh, your deposit, you tap on deposit, right? You copy your, your wallet here from AAS back end straight up to uh, your Binance. Now, Binance takes about four or five minutes to release the, release the phone from their end to AAS. And now the blockchain can only give you five, eight, seven, ten minutes, at times less than five minutes. And once the blockchain wallet that was generated for the deposit expired, the system will immediately generate a new blockchain. Let me repeat it. Uh, for uh, the benefit of those of you who are coming in new, probably you join us very new, listening to this. Now, when you tap on your deposit page in AAX to make deposits, you picked up the wallet, the system generates a wallet, a unique wallet for you. That wallet will never be the same with the wallet of Ambrose, the wallet of Latasha, the wallet of Tinless, the wallet of any other person. The blockchain has the capacity to generate over a million wallet for a million transactions per one second. It can generate that. Now, those of you who are very new to the system, uh, how to know a decentralized system is in generating a wallet. A decentralized system running in the blockchain does not have one-way wallet for payment. Anytime you see a one-way wallet for payment, hey, the wallet they sent to you to deposit money is the same. The same wallet they send to uh, your downline who want to deposit money, and it's the same wallet they send to the other downline who want to deposit money. That is already red flag that this system, anyhow, they beautify it, the name they give it, whomsoever that is sitting as a CEO of the platform, that is a red flag that there is a middleman sitting in the transaction, and certainly he will manipulate. Now, a centralized system has only a one-way wallet for deposit because it's not being generated by the blockchain. But if it's being generated by the blockchain, you are one million users wanting to deposit money in one minute, the blockchain will generate one million different wallets for one million persons. That is a sign that this system run in the blockchain is a sign that it run in the blockchain. So it's a red flag if one wallet is for 10 deposits as a red flag. That is a sign that this is a centralized system built by one man to manipulate funds, to take funds, and they will definitely run away. Because the ambition is nothing but just to run away with the funds. Now, when the blockchain generates a wallet for you to go and make payment, if you delay more than five minutes, the blockchain will cancel that transaction and generate a new wallet for you. Now, if you go ahead and make payment to that wallet, the money will not reflect in your back office. 
listen, it will reflect, you will see that money. Now, that does not mean the money is lost or is gone. No. There are two things I want you to learn today. Now, the money will go to the liquidity pool. The money, the fund, the USDT will pass through our Binance payment gateway to the liquidity pool, meaning it has a record of transaction. Now, we will tell you, okay, when you cry back to us or maybe you shut in of the admin, the payment you make to your account did not reflect. As a result of you that delayed, we will tell you, send all the transaction hash, send all the email address, and send us the payment amount, three things. The transaction hash, the email address, and the payment amount. If you send these three things, we will copy the transaction as to our payment gateway. We build a payment gateway to identify scammers, a hard class, those who think they can just wake up and steal from us because they believe the platform is built by one black man so they can just wake up and uh, they can steal. Hey, hey, hey. It's not possible. Yeah, forget it. It's not possible. So we will copy the transaction hash to our payment gateway and draw if the money actually went through the liquidity pool, to the liquidity pool, the system will signal us and we will see the payment in the liquidity pool. We'll tell you in less than three minutes, five minutes, you will see the money. We will activate and release it from our end. Pam, to your back end, you will see the money. Now, those who are doing fake transaction hash, we will tell you this money never went to our liquidity pool because blockchain does not lie. Whatsoever that passed through then get away to our liquidity pool. Blockchain has that record. And when we drop the transaction, has blockchain will pop up that record that pass through to our liquidity pool and we will credit you. But those of you who are going, you generate payment from AAS back end. Like that man who generated $160,000, right? He generated $160,000. He went to Binance transfer $160,000 from his Binance account to his own second Binance account and then copy the transaction hash and send to us. He was making noise everywhere. He said he's going to report us to FBI. I told him, go to FBI office. The lawyers will meet you over. We are waiting. We came very prepared. You a scammer. You didn't send money to us. From our end, we can't see it. From our end, there is no transaction. From our end, you pay to yourself. Binance to Binance, you pay to yourself, you didn't pay to us. Now, people like this, imagine if we didn't have gateway to detect fake transaction hash that didn't pass through our payment gateway to liquidity pool. They will be making pranks, they will be taking, they will be stealing from us. So now, when your transaction hash is real, we will give you that same amount to your back office and it will start trading for you. If your transaction hash is fake, we will block you in middle. Presently, we have over 125 members who block with fake transactions. They think they can just come and steal yeah. because Jeff and Michael being a black man build a platform. So yeah, now, yeah, yeah. when we look at fake deposits, fake deposits are coming at the result of this cyber error, cyber network, then delays from you as well. You over delay, right, to make the payment and the blockchain has generate a new wallet payment unknowing to you. You still went ahead and do the payment. We will refund that money to your account. But the last one is this. When you pay the money to expired wallet, listen, expired wallet, for example, the wallet you use in making payment today to your AAS account, the next day, you copy the same wallet to make the same payment to your AS account. That has been expired. The blockchain has lost that wallet of the system. So if you make payment to that wallet, it's going directly to the blockchain, not to us. We won't have access to it. We won't see it. We will never see it. You need, you, you, you need to consult TRC because it's their blockchain we are using, not us. We can't see it. We won't have access to it. So thank you, Ambrose. Back to you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, CEO. Um, we're going to go quickly now uh, to the next question that we're going to have uh, for you. And I believe that was satisfactory enough for everyone who has uh, every spartan out there who have the issue of failed deposit. 
So uh, right now, CEO, we're going to be looking into the issue of uh, negative timer. I know you've just talked about that already. You give a little uh, a gist on it. So we might probably uh, skip that and just go into the aspect of uh, skipping of ROI. But in a way, they are interrelated. Because we discovered that from the complaint we get from a lot of uh, Spartans, we discovered that some of them have skipped ROI. That is, because the negative timer refused to end, we see the ROI uh, days skipping to the next day. Some of them miss two days intermittently. Some of them sequentially, one, two, three days, ROI not dropping, and the negative timer still keep counting. So what is the solution to this uh, issue, CEO? Uh, will these people uh, yeah. get their ROI back for the days that were skipped, or is something that uh, we can just take the way it is? Thank you, CEO. Okay. Back to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Negative timer, negative timer, yes. It has been alarming everywhere. But listen to this. Listen to this. Please pay attention to this. We will all be on the same page to know what we are going through. We are going through. Now listen to this. Negative timer. A negative timer running in AAS was set as a security defender. The negative timer running in AAS was set as a security defender. A lot of people worldwide are trying to get a loop of hope in the system so they can keep trying different bypass boats. A lot of uh, hackers, unethical hackers, are trying different by bypass boats. Now, for one to come and hack into AAS platform, they are not coming to use hammer and break the security. They are not coming to use guns and shoot. No. They build boats. We call them bypass boats, right? Now, they are coming with bypass boats to break into the security defense of AAS, to have access to the liquidity pool, to lay hold of funds, to take funds. Just as I was saying, three, four days ago, Safe Moon was a heavily attacked. Same time they were attacking Safe Moon, they were attacking us. We were watching. We were watching. Now, the negative timer trigger up immediately. So the negative timer is set as a security signal to Jesse and Michael and the deep team working with me that once the attackers come to attack, the negative timer will trigger up, which is a sign to us that they are here. They are knocking. They are trying to strike. They want to go in. This is what they are doing. Now, from your end, you will start seeing negative timer. But listen to this. We have over 200 payout wallet generated by Binance Machine and the blockchain has grouped all of the investors in batches under different payouts. We have over 200 different wallets, over 200 different wallets generated by the Binance Smart Chain to pay to all of the members and they are in batches. We have batch one, batch 10, batch 100, batch 500, Bash 200, bash 1 million. We are over a million members. We are over 2 million members. Now, the blockchain, the smart chain, has generated over 200 to pay in bashes. But listen to this. Now, so if you fall under the pay at wallet, which the fraud of both, the hackers are trying to hack. Let me break it down. If I am too fast, let me break it down so that we'll all be on the same page. Now, we have over 200 wallets paying to our community on a daily basis. Now, bash 1, bash 10, bash 50, bash 500, bash 1,000. Now, if you are in bash 10 of this wallet paying to bash 10, and the system come up, get the bypass code that the hackers build to penetrate into our system that if they come in to penetrate the system will trigger out the negative timer to you you are seeing negative timer you are complaining to us we are happy because the system as is very active sending signals to us hey they are here 
then what do we do? We sit up. Right now, if you fall in verse 10, that they are attacking to penetrate, what you will see is negative timer, and the system may not consistently pay you. Listen, 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 because there's a solution to it. The system may not consistently pay to you because the wallet, the bash wallet paying to you is under attack by unethicals. So because the wallet paying to bash 5 and bash 20 is under attack, the system will pop up with a negative timer. You are seeing now, everybody is complaining, I'm seeing negative timer, it's not coming up. Immediately the attack stop, the system will adjust herself, correct the timer and start running smoothly. Immediately the attack stop. Now, if the system skip payment for three days, that means the unethical are holding that grants for three days. As I speak to you, they've been holding grants for four days now. Four good days, they've been holding grants. But I keep telling them it's not easy to come in. We came very prepared. They don't steal from a thief. I am a thief who build you the bank for people to save their money. You can't come in. You can only come in when I permit. Not in my watch. No, it's not possible. With all humility, you can't come in. You are here. Most of them are in our meetings. They are watching. They want to hear. You can't come in. You can't just come in. So if you fall under this category, you will see negative timer, one. You will see skip up of payment, two. The system will not constantly be paying to you. Now, immediately the hackers leave that page. The blockchain will adjust, return back to work, balance up the payment. Hello? Are we together? So hey. we're here with you. Ambrose, I don't know. If somebody hearing me, please yeah, just give me. Here. Yes. We are hearing Ahoo. you. We are hearing you. Ahu. Okay, okay, okay. That means you are hearing me. Now, immediately the hackers stop the work, they bypass both they are using to hack into our liquidity pool. If they stop, the system will pop up again. Remember, we build a system that if they are attacking Cyber 1, Cyber 1 will shut down and Cyber 2 will pick up immediately. Now, if they stop, Cyber 2 will return to Cyber 1. And once that return, we've seen that on the, on the 13, 14, 15, 16 of February, when we were attacked for four good days, and I told every one of you, then if we attack, the system will shut down, right? But here, no, if we attack, the system will shut down. The trading will still be going. We'll still see trading ongoing. Now, if Matthew, what we experienced in that four days of February, they attack us for four days. The system shut down for four days. And when the system popped up, the four days payment was made to all of the account. No one day was missing. Same thing here. Now, for here, because we have multiple cybers, we have multiple hosts, right? If they attack and the system skip payment, we patiently. Don't be in a hurry. Don't get yourself worked up. No, be yourself. Relax. We are not scammers. We are very real. And blockchain does not lie. Whatsoever blockchain owe you will pay. Once the attack sees and the wallets pop up, the blockchain will go back to trace all of the transactions from A to Z. And all of this key payment will be paid back. And those of you who remember, if the same attack comes in, at times you wake up and see 10, 15, 12 payment in one day. Seven payment in one day. The let the way paying to you, to your bash, were attacked by bars by boats. So what that happen? Once bypass port attack and that happen, the system will misfunction and pay you at times three times, four times, seven, seven times, eight times, fifteen times, and twenty times. And those who think they are very smart, they will quickly go and withdraw the money. And blockchain does not forget. Now, 
if they are taxed thief and the blockchain come back to balance payment, the 15 days the system pay to you, blockchain will seize your phone, will cease paying you for 15 days. If the system pay you for five days and you think you are smart, because the blockchain will come back to the same record to take the phone back. Those of you who noticed it, you've seen that over and over again. The system pay you for three days, pay you two times a day, pay you five times a day. Before you know it, the same blockchain will come back and take back the four times and leave only one for you because one was what was rightfully belonged to you. The remaining four is not your payment. The blockchain will come back and take the remaining four. Now, those who think they are too smart, they will withdraw the money immediately and and phone back. When they phone back, the system will never touch that phone back payment. It's an error. The system is seeing you as an indebtor. Now, if the system return back and pay you profit for the next day, the blockchain will remove it. Not the money you deposit, because it was not programmed to take the money you deposit for replacement of debt. No, it was programmed as the system pay, it will debit you. Pay, it will debit you. Pay, it will debit you till the four days are completed. If the four days are not, and within this period, the system will never move your deposit to investment. No, it won't. It will never. It will never. The blockchain I program, I design to work for human and bring joy, smile, peace of mind to human will never move your funds from deposit to investment. Your funds being deposit till when the blockchain is done, deducting all that you were so smart to we try and run away with, then it will then move your money from deposit to investment. So those of you, those of you who are experiencing wow. this, please have it at the back of your mind. We build a system called a blockchain to work for human. And once these incidents are repeatedly coming up, the wrong timer you are seeing, the negative timer is as a result of attack, global attack coming in to attack us, then the wallet not paying to you one day, two days, or a day old is because they are ongoing attack. And once those attacks cease, the system will return back, adjust, and go through the record and pay you that which due you. Thank wow. you. Thanks to every one of you. I love you all, guys. Ambrose, back to you. Wow, that's very great. Thank you, CEO. Uh, we're going, quickly going to jump now to uh, Admiral Latasha. Uh, I have a quick one for you. And uh, over to you, Admiral Latasha. Come on, go ahead. Thank you, Ambrose. And thank you, CEO, for the great explanation of the negative timer and ROI. Of course, we have another hot brewing topic that kind of stemmed from the previous AMA that we had when um, Binance um, gave us new directives regarding accounts that were over 100K. We know during that time, quite a few people did receive their refunds, but there were some because of the time constraints that we were under, um, the turnaround times that Binance gave us, um, all of them were not refunded their um, balance that was due to them. So can you speak to what has caused the delay in when they could potentially expect refunds of those residual monies that were over the 100K accounts. CEO, can Thank you, you give us some feedback on that? Thank you. Thank you, Latasha. Thanks and thanks to everyone of you. Yeah, the issue of 100K max trading cap and refunding. Yeah, we, we came up when I was designing the system, I designed the system to have unlimited deposits and unlimited withdrawal. That was the aim from the one, those of you who has been with me a year ago, nine months ago, eight months, seven months, right? That was a plan. Hey, I want AAS to have unlimited deposit and unlimited withdrawal, meaning you can deposit over $1 billion to AAS platform. And when you want to withdraw, you can withdraw your $1 billion without anyone restricting you or holding back your funds. Now, when we send our documents for final verification to Binance, because we are going to use Binance liquidity pool, right? Now, Binance looked at the platform and looked at the, 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 the sign-up documents and said, no, now you, 
will not operate on limited deposits and on limited withdrawal. Why? Because we are Binance. We have uh, a lot of commitment with various countries. So many countries, we have commitment with them. Now, if we give you room for unlimited deposits and unlimited withdrawal, meaning those countries may wake up and sue us. And if they sue us, we'll be losing the game. We'll lose the the case because it was is against what we signed with them now in Binance, except you are running an institutional account that is when you can withdraw up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to five hundred thousand dollars that is when you are running institutional accounts now and to run institutional account it takes a lot a lot of documentation board of directors co-founders a lot of documents right you need to submit to binance before they can give you the room to run institutional account then if it is our normal account that you run in binance and i run in binance it has limit right some is fifty thousand dollars withdrawal right some is uh ten thousand dollars some uh I, I, it all depends right now they said you can you cannot operate on limited withdrawal and unlimited deposit so previously we were doing uh, a lot of funding right but the withdrawal stick to ten thousand dollars per day they say this is what we want please if you don't if you are not comfortable with this there are a lot of exchanges you can apply through them and keep your liquidity pool but if your liquidity pool must be with us a day withdrawal should be ten thousand dollars a day then with time we can improve on it but for now for a start please just and michael it should be ten thousand dollars per day now we started with ten thousand dollars then the withdrawal the the uh, the, the list you can go in to withdraw is $50. Then the limit of there is $10,000. We started with this. Till when a lot of petitions start coming in, a lot of petitions, because members in AAS were depositing over $500,000, $800,000, a million dollars, $2 million, and above, right? Now, when this issue came up, we personally, those ones with a million dollar with two uh, million dollars with four million dollar right i personally wrote to them this is what binance came up with these are petitions right about nine petitions against us to binance that we are into money laundry right so binance came up with this reply these petitions are against you but we know you trade but they say you are into money laundry now aas is not a bank there should be limits to deposits listen AAS is not Binance. Binance may have unlimited deposits, but AAS are having liquidity pool under Binance. So AAS is not Binance. Binance said for this operation to continue to avoid these petitions coming in, right? Please, your deposit per account should be $100,000. And I've, I've listened to critics who criticized left and right. Wow, wow, why is a lie? Binance never said this. Let, let me talk to you. Listen, listen up. You see, it will be my joy to see you as an investor have a million dollars in my platform because I am making so much with it. It will be my joy. It will be my utmost joy to see you as an investor deposit $2 million, $3 million, $5 million, a million dollars, $500,000 in AAS to trade with. Do you know how much I will be making per day? For God's sake, I am paying you 1.65%. If you have a million dollar in AAS platform, I am using your million dollar to trade. Do you know how many trades I am running with your million dollar per hour? Do you know how many trades I am running with your million dollar per day? It's huge. And I am paying you just 1.6%. That means it's to my own advantage for you to have so much fun in my platform. It would be madness if I am not having issues, if I am not having petitions against AAS, that AAS is into money laundry, then to tell you, please limit your deposit to $100,000. When I know if you have so much in AAS, I will make so much, and I'm paying you only 1.6. Then every 28th of the month, I'll pay you 2%, then pay you 3.5%, then go to pay you, Go up there to start paying you 5%. Now, 
it will be madness to wake up and tell you Binance said when Binance did not say. Does that really make sense? The liquidity pool of AAS is flying higher because there is enough capital in the back end that the system is trading with. So it would be insanity to wake up and tell you, no, uh, please take out your money, leave only $100,000. When Binance didn't say so, no, come on, think. At times before you criticize, think. At times before you run your mouth, think. At times before you say things, that offline, these things, they are not lining. These things are not adding up. Think, think from the mind before you talk. If you have a million dollar in my platform, I am making so much from it. Why would I wake up and tell you, take out $900,000 and leave only $100,000? If there are no petitions, if Binance say, please, for now, the limit should be $100,000. <laughs> think, think. Now, we woke up and say, okay, guys, because of this, we need to refund everybody their funds. Please provide us the email address that is, that is linked to this account. If you have $300,000, you have $500,000, you have a million dollars, right? Now, this is what we are going to do. Provide us a wallet you want us to refund the money to and the email address and the amount. Now, we refunded to 98% of the persons who provided their wallet to us. Because Binance sent the fund to AAS payment wallet, which I, the CEO, only have access to. No one else has access to that. They did a transfer to that and they were monitoring. Now, if I do a refund of your $100,000, $300,000, $500,000, I'm doing a screenshot to send back to them with your name and email address that we refund this because they need to be on the known. We have Binance agent who work directly with us. So he need to be on the known. So we will send and we refund this, we refund this, we refund this, we refund this. And all of this was being taken care of. Now, only few persons who were not online for that three days, we gave five good days. Within the space of five days, they never provide their wallet. They were not online. We have to push that money back to the liquidity pool because one is not my fund. That fund didn't belong to me. That fund belonged to AAS liquidity pool. Now, if they come back with their wallet, we will go back to apply. Then with the same email address, because when we were sending back, we noted them, we notified them. So, so email address, so, so email address, so, so email address, so, so email address. These guys, we didn't refund to them because they were not online and they never provided our wallet for us to refund to. So please, we are sending back to the liquidity pool. This is the record. Please keep the record. If they come back, we will go back to make sure we refund. Now, when these guys, I think it's three or four of them, right? They came back. We asked them, please, oh, hold on. We've moved out of that page, right? Integration is ongoing. We can go back to that page now, but we will call you to send us back your wallet and do a refund once we return back to that page, which I think the three or four of them, if I'm not mistaken, they are on standby waiting for that. Then the remaining 98%, we refunded their funds back to them. We are not holding their funds, right? Now, if one upside there tell you that Binance never said $100,000 is not the limit then why would i lie when your money is with me and i'm making money with it i'm making crazy money with it why would i lie it makes no sense so guys ambrose back to you uh latasha back to you these are the issues this was is, is on board and this is what we are presently doing thank you yeah, thank you very much, uh, CEO, for that elaborate um, analysis on that very issue that has to do with the 100K, because that is huge money. A lot of persons are in our DM, a few of them actually, like you rightly mentioned, and I'm sure tonight they are satisfied. Yeah, your money is not lost. Yeah, that page will be revisited, and once that is done, you will be called upon to submit your wallet, and your fund will be refunded back to you just the way the other persons fund was uh, refunded back to them. So that is so, uh, put that in right perspective. We're going over now quickly to admin uh, Debbie. So we have you on lockdown, Debbie, come on. 
CEO, there's um, I got a question for you. We have there's nothing nicer than having a, a successful deposit. You know, when you when that money comes over and you see it pop on that blue dashboard, it's just absolutely wonderful. But there have been issues where the money is not being credited into the investment within that two uh, second trading cycle that we have. And if and sometimes even if it's not even if it's credited, it's not all credited. It only takes part of it into the investment uh, earning and to the investment part. What is the possible cause for that and how can we avoid that in the future? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Deposit not move to investment. Listen up guys, these are things you need to know now. Now deposit always move to investment at the right time except for an account in which the owner will pay them multiple return on investment and they withdraw it all a case where an investor withdraw part of his deposit listing a case where an investor withdraw part of his investment the system can pay multiple return on investment when it gets compromised one of third occasion, some people get return on investment of 15 days in one day, and they withdraw and try to deposit it back, thinking they were helping the system. Far from that, such deposit would not move to investment. Listen, such deposit will not move to investment. The blockchain will automatically make you a 15 days debtor. Therefore, the deposit fund will never move to investment until you pay back the 15 days debt with your return on investment. Only then will the deposit move to investment. This is the reason why we usually collect the account email to see if the person fell under or fall under the debtor section and or so far you have or we have discovered that 98 percent of the debtors this is the issues they are having let me break it down now the system it takes the system nothing to move your deposit to investment now previously we were looking at 24 hours before the system can pick your deposit from your deposit page to your investment page immediately to start trading and now it's less than 24 hours at times is eight hours at times is one minute at times is two minutes at times is a uh, 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 less than one hour maybe just one hour or less than 24 hours it has peaked now and i i said uh, over and over again if the system didn't pick your deposit from your deposit page to your investment page for the road to start trading for you please don't get worried be yourself for the fact that the timer if you check down the timer is still counting right please be yourself now if the timer is running either 52 minutes or one hour or 15 minutes or 20 minutes and the timer is still running please don't get yourself worried at times it takes 24 hours it takes 48 hours so but let us return back to why some may not really work just like what i just read now if you get overpaid by the blockchain because of attack coming in by the robotic system they designed to attack us or to penetrate system immediately malfunction and double pay you and once that is done you withdraw sorry for that cut off you withdraw immediately what next the system will be seeing you as an in-depth i think i've explained that before now the system will be seeing you as an in-depth and once the system see you as an in-depth what next the system will never pick any money in your deposit page to your investment page for trading the system will want you to bring back that money for the robot to pick it up and pay back because whatsoever fund that pass through the gateway to the liquidity pool the blockchain has taken record of it blockchain knew how much we have in the liquidity pool how much we How much the system is saving for compounding profit payment 
three poles, the capital pole, return on investment profit pole, and compounding profit pool. These are the three pools. The system will always take from the capital pool here, 35, 40% of the total capital, split it and run to various exchanges, buying very low, sell high, converting the Bitcoin, the BNB, the Ethereum, the Shiba, name them, convert them immediately and return back the previous capital, taking the profit a year, for the next day payment. Now, if you are owing the system, the system will see you as an indebtor and the system will never pay to you except it balance up, right? Now, if you are not owing the system and your payment is still lying on the deposit paid, would you tell you please send us your email address once you send your email address we go through it okay you are not owing the system you are free you are not a debtor hey it is our duty to go back to the system and do the enforcement we call it enforcement order right some will come to tell you yeah 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 it has moved from deposit page now is trading right but when you are owing we can enforce it it will pop up with error message this person is owing right and we have nothing to do we'll tell you please tell this person let them go and pay what they withdraw that is not their own because it's time pay them 10 times when it was just a day payment and they smartly withdraw out the money so please go back and make the payment so that we'll all be on the same page so uh mama debbie those are the issues we have and we'll keep having them right our duty as uh, as a as a team as a deep team is to see how we can sort this out work on them to better the system and improve what we have on ground to make sure as deliver as promised from day one yeah thank you thank you very much uh, ceo for that um uh response uh, we are going to something uh, um, that we are also familiar with. Uh, we understand that um, the issue of uh, withdrawal wallet has been a challenge. A lot of persons who entered wrongly uh, ERC20 in place of TROC20. Some persons entered their house address. Some persons just wrote something else in their withdrawal wallet address and so on and so forth. And these issues have been there. And um, we are so happy for the solution that you brought to this system, because to us admins, I think we are the most grateful in all of this CEO. I want to say on behalf of every admin, thank you, thank you, thank you, because our DM was filled with a lot of that until last uh, lately when you open it up for manual adjustment, and a lot of them were able to go in and they adjusted their wallet, and they are so happy with a lot of messages we are getting from them, thanking us for that good deal. But one thing still remains uh, in that regards, there are some of them who have wrong phone numbers and wrong email address. So they try to correct their wallet, but because they have wrong phone number, the system, the way you build it, was rejecting the correction of the wallet and also the correction of their email. So uh, my question is, see you, just the way you've been able to help the others who were able to correct their wallet address, what help do we have in place now for these persons who have issues with their phone number and email address so that they can also as well go in manually and make this adjustment? Thank you very much, CEO. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, if you look at uh, the wallet uh, address issue, right, to me, I, I keep saying is several inflated challenges. Every one of them is having. It's seven inflated. I've said time with that number, please. If you want to sign up an account, don't be in a hurry. This money, it involves money. It's your funds. Don't rush. Be yourself. Up there is your email address. Please check if the email address is right. Then below is your name. Check. Make sure you spell it rightly. Below again is your phone number. Please make sure the first O is taken out. Then check as well the country code. Don't know you are you are in the US and you are using the country code of Japan. No. You are in the US and you are using the country code of Nigeria. No. You are in Nigeria and you are using the country code of UK. No. 
These are self-inflicted issues, self-inflicted challenges, self-inflicted problems. They cost it by themselves. Now, what we told every one of them is this. When creating your account or when your dying lines ask you to send them a link to create their account, please guide them. Tell them how to do it, if possible. Send a video. We have so many videos in the room here. Send a video to them. Guide them on how they can create their account, right? Put in the right info. Because once you create the account and the account is being signed up, coming back to tell us you want to change your email address, we are human. You want to change your phone number. Hey, now... We came up with a solution of everybody who have a wallet issue, please, strictly for those who have wallet issue. Strictly for those who have wallet issue. Not some of you who have joined the account. We have so many of you who have joined accounts. Two, three percent join money to a kind of hold one account. Don't go there and change a wallet. I have integrity for the sake of God. It should not be because you are the principal person the wallet every one of you agreed to have in that account because we've given room, then you go and change. Then there's no integrity. You don't have integrity. Have a financial integrity if you want to go far. Don't change it. Don't do it. And those of you whom they loan money, they loan you money. You don't have a dime to trade in AAX. They loan you money and they use a wallet to block that account so that you mess that account up. Don't go in there and change. If they report that case to me of you changing a wallet, either a joint account wallet that was there, you change it, or they loan you money, they use a wallet to block the account so that you make mess of it. If you go there to change it, if they report that case to us, we'll block the account, we'll kick you out. That means you don't have integrity. Whatsoever you want to do, there should be integrity. It's only integrity that can sell you Hey, I've seen orators, I've seen grammarians, I've seen professors who wake up and build platforms better than what I build. But because they've so messed up, nobody seems to believe them. Nobody. Not because they don't have what it takes to drive the platform, they have what it takes. But who do you expect to believe you? You've so messed up. Don't mess up your name because of money. Brother, let go. Don't mess up your name because you want to make more money. Let go. Walk away. That makes you the man. That makes you the woman. Now, don't misbehave. Don't go offline to do some certain things because you want to make money. No, don't do it. Whatsoever you sow now, you reap. So now, we gave room. Okay, if you have wallet issue, Log in, please. Tap on the wallet. Change the wallet to the wallet you want. Change the wallet. If you have wallet issue, change the wallet to the wallet you have. Now, this is what some of them are doing. Some of them, their accounts is not theirs. Their accounts didn't belong to them. Their account belong to A, B, C, D. Most of them, they help members to sign up accounts. Now, they are telling you they want to change the wallet. De definitely, as they are clicking, as they are tapping to change the wallet, the system is generating a code to the owner's email address. If we give room now for change of email address, so many accounts will be messed up. There are new members who open new accounts through their uplines. They hardly come online. They are not in this meeting. They are not in our Telegram room. It's the uplines who manage these accounts. Presently, we have a case of $32,000 accounts. Our downline open to an upline. So the upline have changed the wallet address because he was in control of the email address. We have that case now. Now, imagine if this woman was not smart enough to call me. She called from the back end I locked in. She said this was my wallet address, but I noticed that they've changed my wallet address. I said, who will change it? Who create? She says, so, so person created the account for me. She called the guy. The guy denied. He swear. But we locked in, they've changed, the email, they've changed the wallet address. Madam, who has access to your email address? She says, so, so, person. We went to her email inbox. They deleted the code that was sent to her inbox. I told her, go to spam. She went to spam. Go ahead, see Andrews, you. Are you go there? Ahead, go ahead, see you. Go ahead. Okay. Now, I asked her to go to spam. She went to spam. The code that was sent three days ago 
was there. And that was the code they used in changing the wallet address, right? Now, I told her, first of all, now, change your email address password. She changed the email address password immediately. Now, went back to the system and changed the wallet address, right? Now, if we open room now for change of email address, the cry we will have in the platform, so many guys have hacked so many accounts. What is holding them now is to change their wallet address because they don't have access to the email inbox. So that is holding them down. So now, please, if you know you have a wallet address you want to change, genuinely the account belongs to you. You have the primary email address, the primary phone number. Now, this is what you need to do. Latasha, Afri Queen, Ambrose, Charles, Yakubu, this five admin. Afri Queen, Latasha, Ambrose, Charles, Yakubu, this five admin now. Make sure the primary email address in the account is the email address you are bringing out. You made a mistake because we can't change total email address for you. Probably you had the account when you were hacking accounts. Let it be that you made mistake in your spelling or when in putting your phone number, you made mistake good. Then when you send the primary phone number and the correct other word you want to use on it, we will do that for you. But telling us you want to change the primary phone number, you want to change the not possible you are not the owner of the account but if this mistake we will help you and do that genuinely we are here to serve you right and please when you send those talk be very patient with us at times when we are working for you we are having global attack for four days now we've been under attack serious attack for this now the wrong timer you are seeing is attack serious attack and the system is still trading for you. The system is still paying you. We are doing our best to improve the security. We are doing our best to make sure we integrate more, more. We input what we think will serve the community better. We are not scammers. We are under ethical oaths to protect your funds and the liquidity pool. We are under oaths. Just a Michael is under oaths. So guys, when you send your details to us, be very patient. I beg of you. I beg of you. We haven't sleepless night. We are not sleeping. We are on our toes walking. We are doing our best to make sure we deliver, not just delivering. Hey, global ethical attack on daily basis. I pass both are trying to penetrate, but thank God for the security we have on ground. Thank God. So, guys. Be patient with us. If you send these details to them, please be very patient. You may be number 300. You may be number 400. You may be number 900 in the line. You don't expect us. You are number 900 to jump from 900 to go to one. No. No many pep members were there before you with the same issue. So we need to go one after the other to make sure we meet all. Thank you. Back to you and Bruce. I love every one of you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, CEO. Uh, we are about to wind it down already. Uh, I believe uh, many uh, Spartans that are still on this call want to really appreciate you. A lot of uh, people are still here and they are really enjoying uh, this AMA. And we are seeing their comments right here at the uh, 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 screen before us. And uh, CEO, you want to quickly jump on the next question. I think we are gradually winding down now. Um, this question has to do with um, the issues uh, with Spartans that have issues of uh, hacked accounts and also that um, their account was blocked. That is two issues. Spartans whose account was hacked and Spartans whose account was blocked. For example, uh, some Spartans, as at the time we are having ch uh, challenges with sites, shutting down server and moving to the others, a lot of Spartans were impatient and because of their impatient, they tried to sign in into the account and they were using phishing link, thereby exposing their signing in details. And from there, hackers took over and they, they took charge of that account. So, and that account was uh, 
uh, reported be blocked because so that to prevent withdrawal. So what do we, what solution do we have in place now that these persons are ready to make claims and take over the account? And number two set of people, CEO, are the set of people who made deposit into the account. And when the deposit didn't uh, deliver or didn't come down to the account, we, 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 they were asked to present a TSID of the transaction. And by mistake or whether by, by intention, they copied a TSID that was different. And when we tried to check from the back end, we discovered that this TSID wasn't matching with the amount of transaction they claimed they did. And that was raising a red flag. And you block, uh, some, some of these accounts were blocked. So now some of them are coming back now to take charge of that account, presenting uh, details of uh, the, the clear credentials of that account and saying that it was a mistake on their part. So I don't know how we are going to manage these two issues, CEO. You know, the issue of this blocked and hacked account. Account that was hacked and the owner of the account reported and we blocked it to secure the fund. And those who made deposit and their deposit didn't, uh, was pending and we asked them to bring a, uh, uh, TXID and they went to copy a wrong TSID either by mistake or by intention. We don't know. And now the account was blocked because that was a red flag according to how the system was designed. So what solutions do, you, do we have in place for this set of people in order to clear them of this uh, nightmare? Thank you, CEO. Over to you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ambrose. Yeah, hack accounts and block accounts. Okay. Uh, let's start from a hack account. Now, uh, when phishing links were everywhere, most members passed through phishing links to uh, uh, sign up, and those guys have access to their accounts, and their accounts were hacked. Uh, we, we've tried our possible best to recover some and report those uh, phishing links that look like AAS to the host site, uh, which they help us in fighting the battle. Uh, by blocking them, like uh, uh, wipe them out, because uh, you can't say you are running uh, uh, AAS a, a, a company and you are taking, you are doing copycat, exact of what we have. That means something is fishing. You are not real. So those guys, the owners of those companies, the host companies, help us in uh, fighting those guys. And today, uh, so many of them, about fifteen fake sites were brought down and. Those things are more battles are still ongoing. Now, those accounts are way hard. We've tried in recovering some, and now some are still lost upside there. Now, this is what you need to do. If truly your account was hacked, truly, listen, truly your account was hacked, you have the primary email address, you have the primary phone number, you have the primary wallet that was in the account. Three things. Now, do the hacker who had the account, delete your primary email address out, delete your primary phone number out, delete your primary wallet out. You may not see it even if you log in. But from our end, we are seeing the primary email address, the primary phone number, and the primary wallet address. These three things are there. Right, it's like from their end, they only edited it. From our end, we are still seeing, we are still seeing. Now, if you claim to be the owner of that account that was a hack, send all the primary email address, send all the primary phone number, and send all the primary wallet address. We will log in if the primary email address in the account is the same with what you sent to us. And the primary phone number in the account is the same with what you sent to us. And the primary wallet in the account is the same with what you sent to us. That means this account belongs to you. We will input your new details and ask you to go in and change your password, right? You go to the system from the back end, tap on uh, 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 a forgotten password. The system will open up immediately. Then put in the old, the new password you gave, that same password you gave, um, that same email address you gave to us. Put in that email address and tap on uh, 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 continue. The system will send you a link. 
on the link rather the link will open to give you room to write in a new password password one password two tap on continue the system will open for you to have access to your account but remember for us to change these details for you the primary email address the primary phone number and the primary wallet address must be the same with what you are providing now for us to replace with. If they are not the same, we won't change it. They don't steal from a thief. If they are not the same, we have no business with you. We will block you more. If they are not the same, we will remove you from all of our platform. That means you are the scammer. Because we've seen scammers who cry in the room there. They hug them. They hug me. They hug me. They hug me. Help me out. Help me out. You tell them, send me details. They will send you email address different from the email address in the platform. Send you phone number different from the phone. They will tell you the hacker who hacked me removed my own. We'll tell you, okay, give us the primary email address. Give us the primary phone number. They will cook one phone number, one email address, and we'll tell them no. What we have in the system here is different from what you are saying. You are the hacker. So we've seen hackers who come to the platform to cry. They hack them. But that is the hacker talking to you. Please remove the email address. Please help me and remove the phone number. I don't want it. You log into the back end, what you are seeing in the system is a different thing. The real owner is there. So the person who is crying now is the hacker. So how is that possible? So when, you see, we've seen a lot. We've, we've seen a lot, sincerely. We've seen a lot. So we work in the system where you see a hacker crying that he hacked his account. You will be the one to go to the Telegram room, repeatedly dropping messages, crying. He will shout all of the admin that they've hacked his account. That is a hacker. Send me the details. He will send you different details. So be careful. So now, back to block account. Now, how do we block accounts? When you send different information to us, pretending those information to be real, swearing heaven and earth, like the guy who woke up that is going to FBI to report AES. He will get me arrested. I told him, go, we are coming. The lawyer, they are waiting for you. Go there, we are coming. He did transfer to himself of $21,000. And this guy was everywhere. On the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, that AAS is fake, AAS is not real, AAS took him of $21,000 when he brought the case to me. I asked him, send me your transaction hash. He sent. Send me your email address. He sent. We locked into the account. The account has $100. He funded the account with $100. Now, he went and did a transaction to himself. He paid to himself, waiting for AAS to credit his account. The same person was ranting everywhere that AES duped him. Now, when we went to the account, we did a video and screenshot and sent to him. You went to Binance and paid to yourself. Transfer money from one Binance account to another Binance account. And did a screenshot and sent to us the transaction hash that you sent to AES. This is not real. We can't see it. This is fake. It's not real. He said it's real. I told him, okay, check this. Check this and look at this. Are they the same? He said, no. So why were you crying? He said, are you a bloody fucking Nigerian? Get out. He blocked me. He was the one who blocked me this time. Now, imagine if we didn't have system on ground to scrutinize the fake coming in. We are doomed. The same person who was saying is going to FBI to report us. He's, not, he's, he's the one who blocked me this time. He blocked me. So if we block your account, we can't block your account because we hate you. No. If we block your account, it's either you provide a wrong information claiming the account to be yours or you say you did deposit and we ask for the transaction hash. The transaction hash you sent to us is different from what you are claiming. We will block you. Immediately, we, are, we will block you. We will block you immediately. You are not real. You are fake. You are fake. You are not real. So, if you send a different transaction has previously, and we blocked you, and now you've seen the retransaction hash, 
that you using making that payment, you've seen it now, and it's read your. Latasha, Charles, Yakubu, Ambrose. Please send those details to them. And please, when you are sending to them, don't just go and copy transaction hash and send to them. No, please go to your tron scan, drop it, then copy it from your tron scan, whereby if we brass it, it can brass to show us what we have. Right, and send to them with your email address and the amount. If it's real, we will unblock you and credit your account. If it is fake, we will block you more. Thank you. Back to you, Ambrose. Yeah, thank you very much, CEO. Thank you. I think uh, we've really had a long time together this very evening. I think the last question we'll be having, and uh, we'll let you go. We're sorry for keeping you this long. We know you have a lot in your hands to do, and also to a lot of Spartans that are watching us from every part of the world. We just want to satisfy you to make sure that every of your needs, every of your questions, every of your complaint is presented before CEO because we don't have the time or always before him. He's very busy so that will satisfy your conscience. So I'm sure we've done that tonight. So the last question we'll be asking you, CEO, have to do with the issue of a blank uh, back office. That is, uh, we have some issues whereby uh, the blank at uh, the back office, nothing is showing. It's showing zero, 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 zero but the account is trading. Then the question is, how did I know the account is trading? Because the upline of the said uh, person who have this blank uh, back office is receiving the daily return on investment. So because he's receiving the daily uh, referral bonus of that trader whose account is blank, it therefore means that that account is trading. But the challenge the person has now is that he cannot withdraw, he cannot make anything because the account is blank, showing nothing. So what can be done in, in this case to help these persons have their account reflecting exactly what is going on in their account? See you. Okay. Now we've seen this case repeatedly. Most of these guys, they use phone that is 2G network. 2G network. Now, I uh, experienced the same thing. The lady was crying of the same thing that um, the upline is earning from him, but she can have access to the account. She did the cry several. I told her, okay, can I see what you have? Can I see your phone? I looked at the phone. The network was too poor to have access to the platform. It was too poor. I told her, this is what you need to do. Borrow a friend of phone. Take this link, tap on it, go to the login, use your email address and password and login. You have access to your account. She tried that and she has access to it. This was the same person for two weeks. She can't have access to it. It was blank. Now, one, AAS website is not having an issue. With all of the global attack we are having now, we can still have access to it. We can still log in. The .com and .us has no issue. If the site has no issue, so it's not possible for one to say you have blank page. No, it's not possible. It's either the phone you are using. It, it, imagine somebody using Nokia 33, trying to have access to a Web3 page platform. How, how do you want to perform that magic? It's too Abrahamic. It's not possible. It will delay. Now, what we advise them to do, use a friend phone, try to log in, use the email address, and use the same phone number. You can log in, it's possible. Now, for the fact that 99.9999% of the members all have access to their own account and they can log in, you can as well log in. So if you can log in, it's not AAS issue, no, because the site is running, members are logging in, members are withdrawing, members are doing deposits, members are adding up, uh, those who are networking, they are referring, hey, that means the site has no issue. 
is your phone or your network okay uh, for the past two days now even today most members will tell you i'm trying to log in what i'm seeing is 505 error and to some it's a very big issue they've tried it over and over they are not logging in simple 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 steps go in now just as you are seeing 505 error if you try to refresh the same page will still come up yes now check below down your phone you see the arrow that you're supposed to tap and go back tap on the arrow and go off the page to where you see login put in that email address but this time don't just type in the email address and the phone number no because the maintenance is still ongoing so it's possible you'll be seeing this you definitely see this right remember uh, a site who went on maintenance they do shut down like our first maintenance we shut down but this time we didn't shut down we said no it's too abrahamic because you want to do uh, site maintenance then you shut down the platform no trading no, no logic no 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 it's abrahamic then why then do we uh, why, why are we going into programming it makes no sense what do we need to do do we need to build a system that will back up what we have just as the original whereby the site maintenance uh, will be ongoing and trading will be ongoing withdrawals ongoing deposits ongoing we don't need to shut down the system because we want to do maintenance. No, it's, a, it's too old to do that. No, no, what for, right? Now, these are issues you may see from your end because the maintenance for three days is still ongoing. If the maintenance for three days is ongoing, you want to log in, mostly new account. You are seeing 505, please tap on the button, go up the page. This time, if you go up the page, refresh it. If you refresh the page, Put in your email address and put in your password. Boom, you are in the page. Now, if you try to log in, the same thing come up, refresh it again, again, it will pick up. And those of you who are seeing negative time and listening to this, because of the attack ongoing for three, four days now, consistent attack in the platform, you are seeing that wrong timer. This is what you need to do. Refresh the page, refresh it, log in and log out the timer will just go off immediately, right? If the timer didn't go off the first time, the second time, it happened to me, Mark, you, this is 100% decentralized. This is 100% blockchain. Blockchain does not know CEO. Blockchain does not know the director of the platform. Blockchain, see you to be me, me to be you. Everybody is the same. There is no CEO here, no director here, no manager here. Everyone is the same. This is no centralized platform where the CEO is seated, his shoulders are high. If issues are happening in the platform, you are on your own to your tent, oh Israel. No. Decentralized platform, if the CEO has issue, the members have issue. If the CEO is doing well, the members do well. That's why I trade like you. I told you from day one, I am not going to build a platform that I will sit like the CEO, my shoulders. I know I want to build a community based platform where everybody is the same with me and I am the same with everybody. So, guys, if we work together, there will be less complaints. If we think, there will be less complaints. If we can read, there will be less complaints. And I keep saying, if you want to improve, if you want to stand tall, if you want to have your financial freedom, if you want to play through in life, if you want to stand tall above your parents, you need to go after crypto education. If you fail to learn, you pay another higher price because you fall victim of scam if you fail to educate yourself if you think a crypto education is too expensive try the ignorant part of it Pawns in masters and mistresses will make a mess of you but if you can go after crypto education you save yourself a lot you won't fall victim it's like walking to my platform to see a boy who has been with me for six seven years then trying to sell a fake platform to them hi are you okay did they swear on your head? It's not possible. Except those who want to be stupid. But God forbid you can't be stupid under me. Because I went through the path of education I, and I decided to liberate myself. Nobody was willing to... Li I liberated myself. I said, no, I need to learn this thing. I, I need to know it. And today, the table has turned. The difference is very clear. You can't deceive me. How? You can't. So go after it. Learn if you can learn. Right? Please, 
pay the price to pay attention to things. The educational materials we are dropping in the Telegram group. If you are here on this call and you are not in our Telegram page, please. Ambrose, please, can you copy our Telegram link now? We are 45,000 members in that room when we are over a million, two, three million members in AAS. Please copy that link and drop in this call. Lucky, do it now. Yakubu, do it now. Charles, Latasha, do it now. Mama Debbie, do it now. Let the link be dropped here. Let those who are outside who lack info, who are not uh, following with what we do, the educational materials we are dropping in the room, please let every one of them be on the same page with us. I hate seeing people being scammed. And those of you who are jumping from one platform to the other, be careful. His paying today does not guarantee the payment of tomorrow. He blow good English does not mean it's real. He said grammarian does not guarantee that the system will go. If it's so real, decentralize it. If it's so real, give blockchain the room to control the phones. If it's so real, give blockchain the room to hold the phones. Allow the robotic system to pay to human. If you think it's real, hey, reduce human efforts. Let the AI replace the effort of human. And let AI pay to human. Allow them to use their capital and make money. And I must say thanks to every one of you who believe in my dream. I say it one year ago. I am going to build a disruptor that would turn the table upside down and set the market on fire and give financial freedom and liberation, financial liberation to humanity. Here we are today. AAS has become a household name. The circlings are calling her AAS. The middle class, the old, are calling her AAS because we decide to build a real platform for human. So thank you and thanks to every one of you. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, CEO. Uh, we are multitasking behind here. Wow, I, I can't believe, I can't believe that we are two hours gone. Wow, wow, wow. This is a lot of energy that has been dispensed here. Yeah? And I thank you very much, CEO, for all that you've done, uh, for all that you made possible this very evening. I think we have answered practically every question that was brought before us as regards uh, the complaints we have uh, with patterns as we deal with them on a day-to-day basis. And you have, you know, giving correct answers that we enable us to further assist them the more on these various issues. CEO, we want to really say thank you, thank you very much for this time that you have spent with this community, for the time that you have spent with over 3,192 Spartans that is on this call right now. We are up to 3,700, almost 4,000 at the time. So we really appreciate you for being here. And we take this privilege as well to appreciate every uh, Spartans also who have made it thus far to this very time that we are in. It shows that you were interested and you were willing to see the very end of it all. Never you think that uh, we are not doing nothing. A lot is being done at the background to make sure that everybody is satisfied. I want to also thank my co-panelists, Admin uh, uh, Latasha. I want to say thank you for being here. You've really been so wonderful. And I want to also use this privilege to also thank Admin Debbie. I guess Debbie is still here with us. Yeah, she's here. Yeah, Admin Debbie, for being there also with us. You've done well, and uh, we really appreciate you. And every other person that is on this call, I want to also use the privilege to thank Loki. He's right there behind the scene. We are not seeing him because a lot of persons, you know, you know the, this uh, dock, when the dock is floating on top of the water, it looks easy. You think that it's just moving smoothly. But behind, beneath the water, there's a lot of paddling. So beneath this core, there are people behind it, making sure that this network never fails, that this program runs smoothly. And that one will say, thank you, Lucky. And we also have admin, the, the lady behind the scene as well. She has been here with us all this while and we say thank you as well. So CEO, we want to see you giving the last uh, parting word for today to the community, uh, a word of assurance, a word of encouragement as we always do regularly as uh, the CEO of Africa Arbitrage and we'll be ready to part from here. Thank you very much, CEO. Thank you, thank you, Ambrose and
Yeah, I think uh, your next one. Most abused uh, are the men in the world. The most abused are the men in the world. Are they are the men working with me? Because we decide to take food away from the hands of Ponzi masters and mistresses, fake YouTubers, promoters who are so banned in promoting fake platforms. We decide to enlighten the people. I use them to pass the message across the board. And today, here we are. I must tell them tens, tens, tens. I will never forget in a hurry. I have a lot to do and I have a lot to offer them. And to use patterns whom I call knowledgeable members of all time. Those of you came in with zero knowledge. Those of you came in without knowing your left to your right. But all you want is just to make money. I told you no. You need knowledge. You don't need money. If you have money without knowledge, <laughs> uh, we become uh, a mess. A mess on your side. You need knowledge. And thank God you believe me. Thank God you gave me your listening ear. Thank God you sat down to learn. Thank God today you are a Spartan. I call you Spartan, a great warrior. So I must tell you, thanks for giving me Lord, your listening ear. And thanks for opening your eyes to see than looking. Because those who look, they look at circumstances they can't settle. Circumstances beyond them. But those who see... They saw opportunity in the crypto space. And here we are today. Check when you came in. Those of you who are 100 days old today, your accounts, your capital has been doubled. And those of you who are 90 days old today, check your account. Those who came in with a $100, your $100 is double already. Those who came in with $1,000, your $1,000 has been doubled already. Those of you who came in with $5,000, your $5,000 has been doubled already. Those of you who came in with that cars, I was so happy when I saw one of the guys who bought uh, 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 that mess base and the woman who bought the house, right? And the guy who bought a plot of land, he said he wants to go into farming. And so many of you, the cars you are buying, the landed properties you are buying, get this uh, uh, to your mind. We are just starting. We are 1900 days old today. Those in beta testing, we are already 100 days. Those who came in live on the 1st of January, you are 90 days old plus, right? This is the first anniversary we are celebrating. The second anniversary is the six months. It's not just going to be online, it's going to be a global seminar hitting the city of Abuja. Everybody across board will be in Abuja. The top leaders, oh God, Abuja will storm and all of the media houses will be stormed with AAX. The billboard, soundboard, our six months anniversary is going to be wow. So get ready, start preparing yourself. Those of you who are abroad, at the fourth, fifth month, we start preparing your invitation letters to send because we are going to storm the city of Abuja that gave birth to AAX, right? Matthew, I started in Port Accord. The weather, there was something else was hitting me. The health, I have to move straight to Abuja to complete the job. So that means we, we, we finalize the job of AAX in the city of Abuja right in the city of abuja so guys get ready our six months anniversary is going to be something else then our one year being december wow <laughs> so when you go out there tell them we'll build a disruptor we'll build a system that men can go to bed and sleep with their two eyes closed knowing too well aas got them covered so guys i'm going to drop it here my unending law for you is to see you turn tall, having your financial freedom, helping the less privileged, helping the homeless, the fatherless, the widows and widowers, the orphans, and above all, the government of your country. Never you challenge the government of your country because you make money. No. Hey, so many of them are frustrated. They need your help. 
Help them and build innovative platforms. Never you build a fake platform because you want to make quick money. No. Build a disruptor. Build a system we can rely on. Build a system that if we programmers go into, we say, yes, this guy build a system. The government of your country will be so pleased with you. My unending love for you is to see you have your financial freedom. Remember, I love every one of you, and I will never rest until you have your breakthrough in the crypto space. I love you all. See you at the top. I love you. I love you. I love you guys. Thank you. you. Thank you very, very much, CEO. We really appreciate you. We can't say much. I mean, I mean, uh, the, the joy is just so much. And I really, really, really appreciate you for the time that you spend with us here. I think, Admiral Latasha, I mean, uh, is there anything different from what I've just said? Don't you think we need to appreciate our CEO? Absolutely. He, is, he and the team are working tirelessly. His eyes are tight right now. He probably needs a nap. So we definitely <laughs> appreciate you for all of your dedication, your hard work, just countless unconditional commitment to AAS. We appreciate you. We love you as well. Thank you for Thank all. Thank you. Yes. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. All right. Deletia, we have, have uh, sorry, we have Deletia with us right now. And, um, you know, we just wanted to say something to the community and uh, we're going to be wrapping it up from here. Deletia. Thank you, Jess and Michael, so much. My Ooh. Queen. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you for the love. You're welcome. Say me well to guys in America. Tell every American member we love them. Tell them we love them. Yes, sir. Thank you for your love and your kindness and your support, your de dedication you. and devotion to us all. We love you so much. And the Thank spark you. I love you guys. And Spark, yeah. we have so much more to look forward to. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think uh, like the CEO just said, we are right in the month of, uh, in the month of March. And before we know it, we are right in June. You, so you guys get your Get, get get set and start preparing your bag. All road lead to Abuja, right? Okay, well, let's see how that we go. And maybe that finally will be the time we all really have the a possibility of having that freedom of face-to-face -face contact because a lot has really happened. And that is one thing I love about this vision of this great man, the CEO. You know, the way the love that flows amongst us goes within the, uh, uh, the the deaf team as well as the uh, admins and look as if we are from one mother's womb you know and these are people that are in their various uh, locations different parts of the world that haven't met together before but the synergy between us is like nothing else so i think when we finally meet in abuja and i pray the ceo get us a quick uh, advance notice because we over here we need to plan our our movement it's not just easy the way it's done in africa so we must seek permission from a place of work try to get visa for those that need to get visa and so on and so forth so we are looking forward to really having a good time together and i believe that will also avail us the opportunity to meet a lot of patterns as well and being able to consummate what we have started so thank you very very much everyone we're going to just let the clip of uh, those uh, who have Thank little you. testimonies of us. Some Spartans who have given us some testimonies in the house, and we'll be rounding up with this. So thank you very much, everybody. We look forward to seeing you again in the AMA. Thank you, see you. Thank you, Latasha. Thank you, Thank Olivia. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for joining us today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, want to talk about AAS. Oh my goodness, what has it done for me? It's given me the ability to bless other people's lives individually, one person at a time by inviting them and looking at them grow in this beautiful opportunity. I've never seen anything like this in my life. I have to say that um, Jason Michaels, godsend the community is amazing what you're doing is is just enormous thank you so much for your brilliant mind 
all your team, the Spartans. We are rocking out, and I just love it. Ow. Ow. My name is Lewis. I am an investor in AAS, Africa Arbitrate System. Since I joined AAS, my financial future has begun to change positively. I can feed my family comfortably. Since all this Naira Bruhaha in the country, there are people I always to call for help. But let me tell you, since this year, I have not called anybody to give me money for feeding. Therefore, I want to thank our CEO, Jason Michael, for bringing up this system. The Pomzi killer, the poverty eradicator. God bless Jason Michael. God bless AAS. AAS. See you at the top. Thank good you. morning, good afternoon, good evening from any part of the world you are listening to me. My name is Peter Alabogo. I am an investor in AAS. And ever since I joined AAS on the day of the launch, I see difference in my financial life. Things have never remained the same. Every day, the return of investment is something else. I want to once again thank our CEO who has put this marvelous work together for humanity. I am grateful personally. And I know it has touched even lives outside this country, Nigeria. CEO, I'm grateful once again. And I know our celebration Marking our 90 days of existence is just the beginning. We have more grants to conquer. And we are fully prepared. I personally, I am fully prepared to follow AAS to the end. And I believe AAS has come to stay. And AAS is going nowhere. I'm still here. AAS is still here. Thank you, gentlemen. And I want to also talk about those who haven't invested. Or those who are still at the corner, skeptically thinking AAS is the real thing, it has come to stay. So, I, my advice to you is join AAS, invest, let your money work for you, and you earn your returns 63.5% monthly. <laughs> you don't get it anywhere except in AAS. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, my sister. Meet you at the top, as I was you normally say. Thank you. Wow. I, I mean, uh, what do we have to say about this? This <laughs> that is lovely. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like crying. I feel like sharing tears. <laughs> so what do we have to say? Yeah, thank God. Finally, Debbie is here. I mean, we we'll start with Debbie. You know, you heard some of these testimonies. So what do you have to say about these testimonies? Does he have in any way touch you as a person? Let me, Debbie. It touches me quite a bit. Um, it makes me sad that I can't, I'm sorry. Uh, it makes me sad that I can't do more, but I'm just really tickled that that um, that things are changing for them. I'm really happy and I'm glad that we're a part of it. Wow, that's lovely. I mean, th th that last statement struck me. I'm glad we are part of it. And I'm yeah. glad Jason Michael created the platform that you know accommodated us to be part of it what do you think about this uh delete here you know just a random discussion as we wind down we are already done delete here it's been a real blessing to see the the changes not only in my my financial life but the members lives um just hearing their stories every single day hearing their their praises that they come into the chat with and into our DMs with um, being able to pay their bills and school and pay off debt from past mistakes that they've made. And it's just been a real blessing and just looking forward to what they're going to be able to do for their communities down the line. Once they get their own ships together, then they can go out and help rescue other families. And that is where changing the world starts. So it's just been... It's been a, a, a really 
blessing, blessed ride that we've been on. Wow, that's great. I mean, I, I can't just close this call without hearing from Latasha on this issue. I haven't heard the testimony from these men and women. If I, we had a lot of them, but we try to conserve time and we just pick some of them out. In, us, in, in, a, in, in the next one that we're going to do by June, by Special Grace of God, we're going to have a most robust video, live testimonies and also video testimonies of this manner. What we don't have to say in this regards, uh, Latasha, to this testimony that you see right now? Well, I'm going to echo the sentiments that everyone has already put on the table here. Um, just to watch the transformation that is on board with people all over the world, the lives that are being touched and transformed into better, you know, it is a very gratifying opportunity to sit back and witness that. You know, sometimes you sit and you're a part of things and you just never know how far or who you may reach, who you may touch. You know, you just don't know the impact until you get that feedback, such as those that we've received today. So to say that they're phenomenal is really a gross understatement. I'm so honored to be a part of this process, to be right here with everyone, all of us being investors, all of us seeing this vision unfold in our lives. It's just an amazing blessing and it's amazing time to be where we are right now, particularly in, in you know, considering the current environment that we're in, the state of things worldwide. So I'm elated to see where we are right now. And I look forward to all of the joy and peace and liberation that AAS will continue to move in all of our lives. Wow, thank you very, very much, Latasha. And you know, we are already done with this AMA and this is the back end discussion and why we wrote down on the other side. I mean, we can't just complete this. We know the CEO have already say hi to this, uh, I mean, a kind of, uh, a goodbye note to the entire community. But how do you feel, see you, seeing that what you've started have brought joy to so many people in different parts of the world? How does this make you feel as a person? Uh -huh. See you. Uh, please, can you tell Lucky to bring back our pictures? I want to see the faces of the giants who are here. Good. Lucky, thank you. Stop taking the faces of this uh, child who has been with me. Be joining. They are the most abused at the mean in the war. So I don't play with them. Yeah, they're joining so far. Wow. Wow. You know, it looked like a child play from day one. I, Ambrose, I can remember when, when you shattered me up, when you told me that it has been my dream to walk a banner in hand with one who believes in decentralization. I can't forget that, what you told me. You told me I want to be part of the dream and vision of what you have. I told you my arms are open. <laughs> you know, it was like a child play then. It was like how is this going to be possible? A hand free trading system taking a HFT that already had the required speed. Imagine it in the blockchain that has speed already. To them, to some, it's madness. It's not going to be possible. I keep telling some of you, I say it's possible for the fact that a man can decode, another man can code it back. So, it was like a child play. It was like, how is it going to work? But because we've looked at the library, we've looked at the logics, we've looked at the coding, and we believe in what we built from the way. Because I keep saying, hey, the system you are seeing today here has never been in existence before. We program it from the mind, from the mind, from the unseen world. And we decide to couple it in the same world. And today, it's working perfectly. Running with one of the fastest withdrawal speed, running with one of the fastest trading speed, paying with one of the fastest speed on earth. For now, we, we, we have so many copy 
hacker platform, which I told some of them, I say, you see, this one is fake. You see, this one is fake. You see, this one is fake. You see, this one, two days ago, I, I, I posted something in the admin room. I told you guys, you see, this one, they will soon fade out. They will soon go. They are going already. Because I've looked at their platform. I picked up their system, their site, and went to their site and scanned through what they have. I said, you see, this one, this thing is in the cloud. If on it, It was like a child play that a child is sitting down telling their dad, I'm going to buy an aircraft. How much did you have? I have $10. You mean you use $10 to buy an aircraft? How possible is that? It was like this story. But look at OE today. Look at AAS today. AAS has become a household name. Trending across board feeding members and helping members to pay their bills debtors are paying their bills people are buying properties across board this has been my dream i came from a very poor home i know what it means to be in debt and i know what it means to stay without feeding so i know what it means i'm so happy i am excited i am so pleased wow but one thing we must not play with. All the glory. <laughs> Don't play with it. Don't. All the glory. Those of you who are calling me Jesus, I am not Jesus. Those of you who are calling me God, God forbid, I can never be God. I don't want to die. All the glory must be given. To come. Whatsoever you will do as a Muslim, as a Christian, as an Hindu, as a pagan, as an unbeliever, whatsoever religion you belong to, the glory of AAS must be given to God. And to God alone, we give all the glory. No man should ascribe the glory of AAS to himself. The wisdom behind AAS came from God. The knowledge behind AAS came from God. The supernatural security defense we built came from God. It was an inspiration. Looking at the security of Israel, we derived it from Israel. Sorry to tell you that today. We must give the glory to God. To you, an unbeliever, to you a pagan, to you an Hindu, to you who don't believe in anything we believe, the glory must be given to God. So I will say thanks to every one of you. Thanks for what AS is doing. I love every one of you. See you at the top. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. See you. It's like oh, oh, session number two just started, but we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Thank you, Strata. Thank you, everyone. We will be seeing you in the next coming AMA. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ahu. 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 <laughs> <laughs>